Hello everybody, my name is Jeremy Brunell and I'm going to show you a quick tutorial on how the interface works in PaintStorm Studio and how to customize it. One of the cool things about this program is that you can set it up for whatever you, you want to use it for and uh, it works cross-platform so the interface is going to be the same whether it's on Windows or Mac or iPad and you can save and load them with the same files uh, you can share your workspaces if you want. It's pretty cool. So it really offers a lot of uh, pretty much unlimited configuration. And uh, in order to do that, I guess, well, I'll start with a mess and show you how to clean it up. And uh, we'll just go piece by piece and I'll explain things as, as we do it. Uh, first thing you want to do is make sure that you can actually move things around and if you can't, it means the interface is locked. There is a, in the top right, there's a, a lock icon. And if you hover your mouse over there, it'll say lock interface. Make sure that's not highlighted and uh, that you can move stuff and we can, so that's good. Another thing you might want, uh, especially if you have an HD monitor and the text is really small on the screen, if you go to file options, this global scale slider will scale everything up so you can expand the size of your text and that kind of thing. So I'll put that up to about 150, make things a little more readable there. That's good. And uh, I guess let's start moving things around. So uh, this here is your main toolbar and uh, I want to nest that along the left side of the screen where it's out of the way. So if you drag it over, you'll see this portion becomes gray. If you let that go, it'll snap it there. And you can move this out and, and resize it as however you want. Uh, I like mine nice and clean there. Uh, as you select tools, uh, you'll see their options in the, the top of the screen. So for example, the the area select, you can choose a square or a circle. Your lasso tool, you can do freehand or point by point. Uh, you have your settings for your magic wand and your eyedropper and brushes and bucket and all that kind of stuff. Uh, it, it, they all work the same as, as they do in any other paint program. Um, this palette right here. Uh, that, that turns on and off things within your interface, so you'll see stuff starts to disappear. Uh, really, that's, that's all that does. Uh, you can set hotkeys to each one of these windows if you want to, you know, make them appear and disappear at will. That's pretty cool. Uh, another thing you want to know is the complete hiding and unhiding of the interface. By default, the tab key does this. It will toggle everything on and off. And you can choose which windows display and which ones don't from that key. So if you click the little wheel icon in any window, uh, you can tell it to ignore tabs. So now when we press it, that one stays put, which can be handy. Uh, navigator. I, I don't use it. Maybe you like it. I don't. Let's get rid of that. The swatches, color swatches, you can make and save and share all these if you want. I don't want it. Let's get rid of that. Brush palette. Definitely want to keep that. But I want this to be transparent. So let's go and we will roll the opacity down about 50%. But I want it to be opaque when I hover over. So let's go normal opacity on select. Now that's doing what I want it to. So let's take the color wheel. You can change the color wheel to be triangle or square if you want. Uh, I like the triangle. Let's nest this on the right side. So there's that. And I want my layers underneath that. So if you want something to kind of snap together in any one of these, um, you can. You can have tabbed windows basically within this, or stacked windows. You see that blue line that shows up when I'm kind of drag this over there in the right 
spot that will snap it in there like that and then we can keep these windows together as one sort of cohesive piece so we'll keep it like that yay bucket fill uh, the brush controls they're really complex you can kind of I'll go over that in, in a different tutorial but uh, I don't really need them because I have prefab sort of a core set of prefab brushes I like to work with uh, so I'll get rid of that uh, now custom windows you can have up to three of these if you go into view you'll see custom one two and three you can have more than one I only need one really and I want to put my most common brush tools in it uh, you can put all kinds of things in here uh, for example say the color wheel so if you want to modify a custom palette you got to have this little tool thing here it's got to be highlighted and that'll change the interface so things behave differently so you can for example just drag a color wheel in there and there it is if you want to get rid of something you just drag it off and then it's gone uh, so for my case I just want to put my common brush tools in there and we will and just drag them in. Where's the ink brush? And flat brush. Hair brush. Camel hair. And that's that. So that's done. You can also change the size of these icons if you want. I'll just leave them all kind of small. And then let's shrink this a little. And we'll move it over there so it's out of the way. Now this I want to be opaque all the time. That's a good size. My layers, let's make those semi-opaque. And then we'll have normal opacity on select. So. Now, good, that does what, it want, what I want it to do. And we've got a clean interface now. So, we want to save what we've done. So, other, save custom UI. That's how you do it. And you can load another custom UI also. And within this UI, it will save several workspaces, which you can toggle between, which is nice. Uh, so if you, for example, go into view workspace here, this is set to workspace six, but you can go and uh, view workspace. Let's go workspace four. All these will save their colors and settings and, and everything. Uh, It's, it's, it's pretty powerful what you can do with this. Uh, well, uh, that pretty much covers the basics of the interface. I, I hope this is helpful, and I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, if you like the video, go ahead and click like, and I will hopefully make more of these in the future. Thank you for watching.